and happy Halloween. So I have been working on some Thanksgiving decor here in my home. And I hope that you'll join me in with a Thanksgiving home tour today. I know most people on YouTube have already started their Christmas decor, um, but I'm not ready yet. So I wanna take a few, few weeks and enjoy the Thanksgiving season and the season of gratitude and family and friends. So if you want to join with me, I'll take you on a short Thanksgiving tour and um, let you enjoy the seasonal harvest that is currently in my home. With that, if you'll subscribe to my channel, I would love that and give this video a thumbs up so I know it's something that you want to see more. And with that, let's get started. So as you walk into our home, just off to the right is our sitting room. And poor Bob here has had a long Halloween season, so he's just taking a little break and reading his book before he lays down for his nap. On my entry table, I wanted to keep it really simple and clean before we gear up for Christmas decor. And so I just have a simple mirror glass vase that I purchased for Christmas time, but I thought that would be really pretty to use for Thanksgiving this year. And I also found these pumpkins. These were at Dollar General for $5 each. And they actually are light up pumpkins. Those were really pretty. And they go with the mercury glass vase. I found this vase at Tuesday morning, earlier this year. Then I just have some vintage candlesticks down below. These belong to my grandmother. She bought them in the 1970s at JCPenney. And I found those in her basement and she said that I could have them. On my blanket ladder, I've added this beautiful throw blanket. It says, blessed, grateful, and thankful. This came from TJ Maxx. And on top of the piano, I've just got a doble full of hydrangeas that are both dried and faux some little pumpkins, some eucalyptus in this vase. This came from World Market. And then I found this Autumn Blessing signs at our local grocery store and it was 40% off and I think I picked it up for about $4. Goodbye. Here we have Sweet Mimi sitting in her spot. She's excited for the trick-or-treaters to come in a little while. On top of our curio cabinet, I just have a few vases and this thrifted bowl. Figured we could throw some keys in there or whatever as we walk in the front door. And then inside our curio cabinet, this is something I don't usually do a lot of decorating to, but I was inspired to do that this Thanksgiving season. I have just a couple of vases and a pumpkin and my cute little pilgrim I have had her for, hmm, gosh, probably 10 years or more, and I believe that came from Michael's. And there is her sweet husband. <laughs> and just a, a bowl and some candlesticks and some very, very old books with some corbels that I'm using as bookends and then a simple plant. 
They also have these willow tree figurines, and those are really special to me. They kind of tell the story of me and my stepson from the time that he was little and we got our first puppy. Then as I would help him with homework and teaching him in school, as he got older, then he learned to read and be independent on his own. And so he gives me those figurines every year for Christmas and they're very special to me. Our family room. I recently thrifted this beautiful wooden bowl and these wooden apples. Mimi likes to sniff at them. And this cute little lantern. Those are all thrifted finds. <laughs> She's checking it out for you. I didn't change this up too much. I just added some different foliage and some twinkle lights here on our TV stand. In my pre-fall decorate with me, I went very, very simplistic on the mantle. And so I wanted to do a full garland for Thanksgiving. And this is a combination of all of the, four, the fall florals that I had collected over time. And I just put it all together. I think it turned out so pretty, especially when I added some twinkle lights, which will be a good lead in for Christmas. I also added these candlesticks. Um, these are vintage antique brass candlesticks that I got from my grandmother and some LED candles that I bought on Amazon. It's so nice because these run on a timer. So by the time I get home in the evening, they're lit up and this garland is also on a timer. And so I can come home to the beautiful ambiance of this mantle. This sign is one that I made using just an old frame. I painted it to look like a chalkboard and then did some lettering. And I love the way that turned out. All of the pillow covers on my couch, these ones I made out of a drop cloth and the leather ones are from Amazon. This pillow cover is also from Amazon. And I'm really enjoying using pillow covers. I use the same inserts and they're actually old pillows that I already had that I, that I haven't been using. And that was such an effective way to reuse old pillows and also um, be able to change them out easily from season to season. Moving on to the kitchen table, I really didn't change this up too much from how it looked during the pre-fall. I did add one more brass candlestick that I had and these cute little ceramic pumpkins came from the Dollar Tree this year. And then along with those candlesticks, I also got a brass candle snuffer. And I think that's so pretty. I'm really looking forward to using those brass candlesticks in my Christmas decor as well. So here on the buffet, I put together this basket of pumpkins. This pumpkin I thrifted, and it's actually a candle, 
Um, I've seen these at Hobby Lobby and they're qu quite expensive. But this one I paid $5 for. Um, this tiger pumpkin is a real pumpkin. And then I have a faux pumpkin here in the back with just some fall foliage and some twinkle lights. The sign in the middle I made and I used an old Thanksgiving sign that I just wasn't enjoying anymore. And I did just a multi coat of chalk paint and then sanded off the top level to show the other colors underneath the pumpkin. And it says live in Thanksgiving daily, which is from scripture. In the back, I just have a couple of cutting boards. This one I picked up recently at Home Goods. It was only $9.99, which I thought was a great price for that cutting board. And then I've just paired it with some wooden candlesticks, some foliage, and some pumpkins. My favorite part of the Thanksgiving decor is my hutch. And I was able to repurpose some of the decor that I had used in my pre-fall and my Halloween decor and just added in some beautiful fall touches for Thanksgiving. This picture in the center was thrifted and it was this most obnoxious green color. And so I chalk painted that. And I like that it has a little leaf on it, which is very fitting for fall. This sugar to a sugar and creamer set that I picked up at Ross, along with this sugar and creamer set that also came from Ross this year. And a beautiful cutting board that I was fortunate to, enough to find at a thrift store. This little terracotta pumpkin also came from Ross this year and it has a cute jack-o'-lantern face on the other side, so. I love that I can use it for more than one season by just turning it around and it has such a beautiful shape. On the bottom shelf here, I just have a fruit basket with some rolling pins and this beautiful antique um, table runner. This was actually my great, great grandmother's and I'm so fortunate to have it and love that I've been able to find ways to use it in my decor. This little pumpkin I showed in my pre-fall as well and it says, in everything give thanks. And it came from Joanne's many years ago. I've had it for a long time and it's one of my favorite decor pieces for fall. And here's the cute little creamer to go with that pumpkin sugar and creamer set. And I've just added some cute little wooden um, measuring spoons that came from Hobby Lobby this year. I kept my cast iron pieces in my hutch for the fall. Um, I had used them through the Halloween decor season and I just added this cute cornucopia with some dried flowers that I actually picked from the neighborhood park. Don't rat on me. <laughs> and finally on this bottom shelf I just have a couple of my favorite cookbooks and a stack of my Thanksgiving dishes with the coordinating turkey platter. I figure this is a great place to keep it where it's nice and accessible for Thanksgiving Day. And also the gravy boat that goes with the set. 
and this beautiful wooden bowl that I refinished earlier this year with a wreath inside and some twinkle lights and this beautiful pumpkin that came from Walmart this year. I really try to keep the decor on my kitchen counters very simple and functional. So I have this cutting board with my with my knife block that I actually refinished a few years ago and a pitcher with the utensils, my salt and pepper shakers. And then this book stand with this beautiful artisan bread cookbook that I thought would be really fitting for fall. Finally, I love to decorate my antique scale for all of the different seasons. This was a piece that was in my grandparents' bakery in the 1950s and 60s. And my mom has had it for the last several years and she gave it to me this year as my birthday gift and it is something that I absolutely treasure. And I've just added a basket with some pumpkins. Um, these are real pumpkins with some lamb's ear. And then my warmer that has the most beautiful fall festive smell. I absolutely love it. I wish you could smell how good it is. And this other little ceramic pumpkin that I believe came from the Dollar Tree this year. The final thing I wanted to show you is this cute display of plaid pumpkins. These were just the styrofoam pumpkins from the Dollar Tree that I wrapped in fabric and added just some twigs from my yard and I'm displaying them in this beautiful antique galvanized bucket and I get a little choked up whenever I talk about this bucket which seems like a funny thing to get choked up about but this was given to me by one of my neighbors when she was moving um, she was in her mid 80s and her husband was a brigadier general in the Air Force and he was stationed in France right after the Korean War and she used this bucket to bathe her babies because they were so poor they didn't have running water in the area that they were living at the time and this bucket stayed with her from right after the Korean War until she gave it to me about two or three years ago. And I still get choked up every time I talk about this bucket and the imagining the service that that family rendered to our country for so many decades. And picturing her in France in a very poor part of the country bathing her babies in this bucket. So I hope you've enjoyed this Thanksgiving home tour and that it inspires you to think about all the things that you are grateful for in your lives and the beautiful things that you're grateful for that are either in your home or in the area surrounding you. That's why I wanted to show you my beautiful surroundings because that's something that truly I am grateful for as well. With that, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. I hope you give this video a thumbs up so that 
I know that it's something that you enjoy and I can offer more in the in coming weeks as we prepare for Christmas time. With that, I am truly grateful for so many things and especially for this opportunity I have to share with you the many things that I love and enjoy and the things that I've been given from so many loved ones and close family and friends. With that, have a beautiful Thanksgiving season and we'll see you next time.